Any questions about ImageNet and AlexNet? I have one question. Um, towards the end, after the last max pooling, the dimension changed to 2048. So yes. what, what exactly happened? Did we flatten the this thing or how did it happen? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is ask you to multiply 128 by 13 by 13. What is going to be that number? So that's the dimension after flattening, 21,632. After you do the flattening, that's your dimension. Now to go from this dimension to 2048, you need to multiply by a matrix. And that's where this dense layer is doing that. You are going to multiply by a matrix that has a size of 21,632 by 2048. And that matrix is going to take you from this huge dimension to a smaller dimension. Does that answer your question? Yeah. And the 2048 is determined by the, it's one of the hyperparameter. Exactly. So any number that you see here, 2048. This 1000 is the number of classes. So that's given to us. The three here is given to us. 224 by 224 is also a hyperparameter to some extent, but anything in between, like the stride being four, having 48 filters or output channels, 128, or these convolutions being three by three, this convolution being five by five, having two parallel architectures where they are connecting to each other, these are all the choices that the authors of this paper made. Some of them are ad hoc and based on intuition of what is working. Some of them are based on the constraints, like GPU constraints, et cetera. For instance, the choice to parallelize this way is because at that time, the GPUs were not powerful enough. These sorts of choices, some of them are based on intuition. Some of them are based on your constraints, your physical constraints in the physical world like your GPUs, and some of them are based on trial and error. Those trial and errors, we can either do them in a systematic fashion, and that's going to be the topic of AutoML, automatic machine learning, or you can do them uh, based on your intuition, based on human or some PhD students' intuitions. Okay. But whatever that you do, these are hyperparameters. So they were using, the question is what type of activation function you are using here, it's going to be ReLU maximum of x and zero, ReLU activation. Any other questions? 